All right, so we got the race capture connected to a high powered or high powered servo motor uh, using a repurposed windshield wiper motor set to high speed with a feedback uh, potentiometer connected to a Palulu 13 amp motor controller that's fed by the race capture pulse width modulated output. The script is currently set up to snap the arm from one direction to another based on a particular threshold. So this is really similar to what it'll look like in a air brake scenario. So let's, let's imagine the syringe is our brake pressure sensor. And then when we push on the syringe, we'll exceed a certain threshold and then the air brakes will deploy. So watch the action here. And then when we release the brakes, there we go. We just spent uh, a bit of time fine tuning the feedback algorithm on this uh, cool little board so that when, when the motor reaches its final position, it glides smoothly to a stop. And um, this is much better than using like a limit switch or any kind of like hard feedback because we can control the precise position of this servo motor. So in the future we can do things like active arrow and um, tune it for varying downforce in the corners based on any kind of algorithm we want. GPS location, G-force, steering angle, brake pressure, speed, anything. So uh, if this all goes well, you'll see this on our race car in a couple weeks. So now we have the system configured in a uh, mapped linear mode where the position of the motor follows the, uh, the relative pressure of the, the brake pressure sensor. So um, as I press and create pressure on the map sensor, the motor follows that position. So this is just a demo of actually setting the, the position of the wing where you would want it. And the way we did it was very simple. We mapped the input for the map sensor, the pressure sensor, to a single value between 11 and 64 here. And so all we do is we read the analog value from the, uh, from the analog sensor input, put it in a variable called break, and then we do set PWM duty cycle, which sets the angle of the wing or the position of the motor arm with the same value. In other scenarios, if you're actually developing something that has like a nonlinear response or, or you have to mix in other variables, then your, your code here, your algorithm, your logic would be uh, just that more uh, complicated. And of course, you could just iterate and figure out the best combination of, of settings to deploy the Active Arrow system. But this is just a simple demo. So we'll just run it again. And the uh, response time is very good. It's about, it's running at 10 hertz right now, so 10 times a second. It's following the position of the pressure sensor. And uh, on race capture, that could be set to 30 hertz.